First, toning. I can't stress enough how important it is to use toner after washing your face. This will help bring back the pH balance in our skin. It also helps remove oil and traces of dirt and grime, especially if your skin type is oily. Here, I'm using my favorite cruelty-free, oil-free toner by Dickinson's and yes, Hanty, I'm also bringing that down to my neck. Now we're ready for a moisturizer. This is the product that I have been loving lately. It's a Royce Oil Blend by Pixi. This has been my go-to moisturizer lately, especially this cold season because my skin gets super, super dry. I like to massage that all over my face and wait a couple of seconds for it to settle down on my skin. Now on to our eye cream. This one right here is becoming my favorite as well. It's perfect for every day. Now, why eye cream? This will not only moisturize our under eye area, but this will also smoothen out any creases we have in there. Now, use your ring finger to blend your eye cream. It's the weakest, I promise. You want to be extra careful around this area because it's the most sensitive skin in our entire body. Onto color correcting our dark circles. I actually had a lot of questions on my power of makeup about this. Why use concealer instead of orange corrector? This concealer slash corrector right here is an orange peachy based. Since my dark circles are light, I don't even need a full peach or deep shades of peach to correct it, if that makes sense. If not, I will make a full video regarding color correcting. Just let me know on the comment section below. Again, pat don't tag be extra cautious because once the elasticity in that area is gone trust me it's gone forever you can also use a very soft synthetic brush to blend it if you're in a hurry Now on to probably the most important part of this video, it's our concealer. Here I'm using my Offer Cosmetics Sculpting Wand. It's the perfect combination between thick but not too thick, long lasting, it stay all day long, I kid you not, and most importantly, it's waterproof. I have been using this for over a month now and I'm already running low. I, I actually like to apply that from the bottom of my bags and then blend it upwards towards my lower lash line in an upside triangle shape. I then use my damp beauty blender and blend that starting from the bottom first, then up. Now I like to, to blend my concealers with my beauty blender because it takes away any excess product. It really helped me avoid having a cake concealer. Now I also like to dab instead of swiping because by doing so, you are really pressing that concealer into your skin to really lock it in and as if it's part of your skin. I also like to look up and blend because I do have few lines and creases underneath there and this helped get into that creases. Now what I usually do is set that concealer right away and like always I'll be using my favorite Ben Eye Banana Powder and another beauty sponge but dry one. Here's what I do, I place some Ben Eye Banana Powder on my hand, loaded that sponge and then tap off the excess. Before applying the powder, I like to blend that concealer one last time with a beauty blender and then set starting to wear my lines looking up, very slowly and very gently working my way down without picking any more powder. Once I'm done, I quickly dust off the excess with a powder brush, then move on to the other eye. And like I said before, do not bake unless you're going to be in cameras for photo shoots or performing in theater or a drag queen, then go ahead, feel free to bake. But if you're doing your makeup for work or just simply want to conceal your bags or dark circles, please do not bake. Baking is not for everyday makeup. Anyways, once setting your concealer, you can go ahead and set the rest of your face with a nice powder brush. So that's it for this video my loves, I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button like or share this video because it really helped me get my videos out there and lastly don't forget to turn your notification on just so you get notified whenever i upload a new video that's it for now my loves and i'll talk to you guys on my next video i love you